you feel like you are drowning in housework too, here girl, let me throw you a life vest. If there is one thing I have learned as both a homeschool family and now a family of five that has been stuck in quarantine for months on end, it's that keeping a tidy home with five bodies in my house at all time is not a task for the faint of heart. We are talking laundry that has literally quadrupled because my children feel it necessary to change outfits 82 times a day. We are talking dirty dishes that have absolutely no concept of chill mode. Seriously, think about it. Three meals times five humans plus bottomless snacks means endless dishes. And with those dishes come crumbs. So many crumbs. We're talking strewn toys that I swear to you have the ability to multiply when I'm not looking. It's kind of freaky. It's entirely possible that I could drown under the tidal wave that is housework that greets me every single day, but I don't because I've got three tricks up my sleeve that help keep me afloat. So if you feel like you are drowning in housework too, here girl, let me throw you a life vest. Trick number one is to involve your tiny helpers. This has been an absolute game changer as far as cleaning up in our household. For one thing, it teaches kids how to clean up after themselves when you involve them in the cleanup process. I mean, how do you expect a two-year-old to learn how to clean up after herself if you're not setting the example by showing her how to do it? My six-year-old is an awesome helper. She follows direction well, she knows how to clean up, she knows when to clean up, she's very independent in that way. Whereas my two-year-old needs a little bit more guidance. She will not help unless I am in the trenches with her cleaning up. Be the cleanup example by leading the way. Trick number two is to try and stick to a schedule. Now the love of a schedule and a good plan is totally the type A in my personality, but I promise it does help. I've designed a daily and weekly chore list that hangs in my house so that I know and my family knows what needs to be done and when. I like to hang the list that's in a place that's very visible in my house. That way if anyone decides they wanna pitch in and help mom out, they can look at the list and go, oh, okay, today is Monday. I know that mom is doing X, Y, Z on Monday and this is what I can help with. The chore list is really easy to make because I've broken my house down by room. So each day I focus on a specific room and then obviously any of the daily stuff like dishes or vacuuming or whatever needs to be done on a daily basis gets um, sort of rolled into that that to-do list for the day as well. But I focus on a different room each day, and then, so I don't have to print off a new list every single week, I have just printed off a master list and then put it in a page protector, and then I use a wet erase marker to check off any of the tasks that have been completed, and then I can just wipe it away at the end of the week, and voila, I've got a fresh list, and lots of chores to do at the beginning of a new week. And trick number three is to lower your laundry expectations. This one is, has been hard for me. Come on sis, let's, let's be 100% real with each other. Unless your kids are of the age where they can do their laundry themselves, they can wash it, they can dry it, they can fold it, they can put it away. Laundry is likely never gonna be caught up in your house, at least not for a really long time. And that's been a hard realization for me. I used to get so frustrated with myself for never having empty laundry bins in the room. I just, I felt like I wasn't accomplishing anything because there was always laundry in the bin. Ugh, it still frustrates me to this day a little bit. But then after I had my third baby and realized, uh, listen sis, you just cannot do it all. And is laundry really the end all be all, make it or break it moment of your day? Like, am I gonna go to bed at night weeping and feeling like a failure because I haven't finished all the laundry in a single day? No, that's a waste of energy. So now I tackle one to two loads per day, at least I try to, and it's even better if I don't go to bed until the clean laundry has been folded and put away because then I don't have to wake up and see it staring at me and judging me. But don't take my word for all of this. Try these tips if you are somebody who is trying not to lose your ever loving with your kids home all day, every day, 24 seven, all the time, to tidiness and beyond. I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.